Hello, welcome back to the Off-Grid family. Today I'm doing a, a task that isn't necessarily off-grid as such. Um, I'm making a lid for a fish tank. It's actually going to have stick insects in, which we use to buy and sell and various other bits and pieces. So there is an off-grid element in it, but I thought I'm doing it. I might as well basically just show you guys how to and see, see if it's relevant to anyone else. So I'll show you what the tank is and then I'll talk you through the plan. Okay, so this is the fish tank I'm going to be making a lid for. Uh, I'm going to be making it out of wood, and because we're putting stick insects in it, it won't have wood on the top. It'll actually have some like nylon type material because the stick insects like to hold on to that. But if you were doing this for a fish tank or for your snake or whatever, you could just place some wood on the bit I'm making. So I'll talk you through what I'm going to do. I found these bits of scrap wood, so I'm going to measure them off to basically make a box that fits around the side of the tank. So obviously cut it off here and so on. And basically it's just gonna be a box that slides up, up and down, not like a box, but like a frame I should say. I'll do that and I'll get back to you. That's them all sawed to the right size. They are by no means straight edges really or anything. This is very rough. It doesn't have to be exact. I've basically just lined up the piece of wood Done a little scratch in them to know where I've got a saw and that. Now I'm going to screw them through here, here, and in the other two sides, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've made this basically square frame. It does fit over, but it's a lot tighter than I would have wanted it. I will advise you guys to, if you're doing anything like this, make sure it's a little bit looser than that. You know, give it maybe a centimetre extra, and that, that way it'll go on fine. So now the next bit, I'm going to put a batten across here and across here. And there's the actual lid made. Um, I'm going to stretch some nylon material across here. And it just means then that stick insects have something to gra grasp onto when they're shedding their skin. Otherwise they often come out deformed. So I'm going to possibly put hooks along the side for it to hook onto. I'll think of something anyway. But if you were to be making this, for example, for a snake, then I'd advise putting a whole piece of... Uh, piece of wood or you could put planks like this all the way across it's up to you completely but it's very very simple anyway I'll stretch the nylon across now and figure out how I'm going to attach it because obviously you don't want the holes because they'll come straight through otherwise okay I'm nearly finished the next job I'm going to do is screw on these little hooks and what that does then is we can hook the nylon um, tights to it and it just you know spreads them out and so on but I will say that this might be too wide for them and if so I might have to come up with another clever ingenious plan they need to connect these hooks facing downwards like that and what that will allow is then you can stretch the nylons over it all the way across and it should cover the whole thing if for some reason the nylons won't cover the whole thing, which sometimes they don't, we have to buy extra large ones to get them to stretch, but we could only find a smaller pair. If it doesn't stretch, then I will have to um, do something else. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. They're all in now on both sides, so now it's the fun bit of trying to stretch the nylon across it. Okay, I had to get rid of the hooks at the end. It didn't work on this one. I've made it before and the hooks went up here but it was a different shape. So when I would hooked them over, there was just tiny little holes that um, the new nymphs would be able to get through. So what I've done is I've just put a piece of wood each side and each end. And this thing literally fits like a glove. There's no moving it at all, except up and down, obviously. So that's it done. One thing I'll advise, if you do make one like this, it's very, very easy to ladder these. So what you want to do is, all of the food, if you use brambles and wild plants, don't let them go up to the ceiling, um, like the roof of it, or you, or you will ladder it easily. If it does ladder, then you just place a piece of wood over the ladder and it works fine then. Um, I will eventually get a piece of wood and just slot it in here, all the way across. But I don't have any, so I'm just going to go with this. This is absolutely fine for a stick insect. I wouldn't put your snake with this kind of roof, because you'll lose it immediately. But I'll be back in a minute when I've transferred all the stick insects. You'll be able to see. So I thought I'd finished the um, lid to the stick insects. 
but me and my wife had a chat and we we're actually going to put all the adults in there as well. Now the adults have very good pincers to eat leaves with and so on. And unfortunately if they decide they want to, they can eat through nylon with no problem at all. So I'm going to actually put the nylon down and then have a roof completely on the top. So they can still stick to the nylon, but there'll be a roof over the top. So it means I've unfortunately got to unscrew quite a few bits. I'll show you what I need to unscrew and then I'll show you how I'm going to fix it. So basically, I'm going to take off this piece and this piece, and then I'm going to take off these two pieces as well, so it's just a, back to the original frame. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just lay a, piece, a couple of pieces of wood across the top. Um, I've got some actual old flooring that was given to me by a neighbour. I'm going to use that and I'm going to have that across the top. I'm just going to nail this back in some places. I just want as much of it as I can against the edges. Okay, so that bit's done. It, I just try and keep it as much across as I can. There's a little hole here, there's a gap here. Sometimes they will climb un up under it, but I'm gonna hopefully get the wood down as tight as I can on it, so there will be nowhere for them to climb under. Next job, I cut these two boards very roughly. It does, I, I'm not really bothered. Uh, um, it's not to make it look good, it's just to put it here. There'll be other stuff on top of this one. So you won't see any of this anyway. But I'm gonna just clip them together. And then pin them down. We'll start at this side. There we go. There's the lid now. Obviously underneath there's this so that they've got something to latch, on, latch onto. I'm gonna cut all of this excess off because we don't need it now. And then I can sort out the tank for them and get them all sorted, get them into their new home. Okay, there we go. Basically, it's a lid. It works perfectly. Um, it was a very muddled video because we knew what we wanted. Um, but the sort of the way we wanted it kept having to change. Um, it would have stayed with just the the like nylon on top if it wasn't for the adult nymphs. As I say, they've got proper like decent pincer kind of things for being able to cut bigger and thicker leaves, and they can just literally cut it all open and everything. But anyway, that's that. It's done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.